Let's talk about plumbing. No, really, plumbing is very interesting. So you have a tap in your kitchen sink, and that tap is connected by a small pipe to a larger pipe in your house, which also feeds the dishwasher and the washing machine. And that tap pipe is connected to a larger pipe still, which feeds your bathrooms and so on. And it goes out of your house into a larger pipe still, which feeds several houses, and into a very big pipe, which feeds the whole street and a huge pipe which goes all the way up to the reservoir at the top of a hill, let's say. And all of these are full of water, and because the reservoir is at the top of the hill, the weight of all that water makes the pressure in your tap quite high before you turn it on. Now you turn the tap on, and the pressure at the entrance of the tap immediately drops right down. A little wave of decompression travels all the way back up all those pipes, all the way up to the reservoir at the top at the speed of sound in water, which is very high because water is almost incompressible, so it has a high speed of sound. And that tells all that water that I've turned the tap on. Then the water starts to accelerate because it's got a high pressure behind it and a low pressure in front of it. It starts to accelerate and to flow out of my tap. Now remember it's going through all these junctions at each junction, you're going from a wide pipe to a narrow pipe, so the water speeds up, and by Bernoulli's principle, its pressure drops. So what was once a pressure drop from the reservoir all the way to my tap is now distributed across all of these junctions. Sometimes when you turn the tap off, especially a modern one which turns off very quickly, you hear a sort of thump, and that's because Everything's happening in reverse. The pressure goes right back up again. The water all decelerates very quickly, and that can make the walls of the pipes move a little bit, and that's what you hear. This is not just a domestic interest. It's extremely important for, say, chemical industry plants, where you have great networks of pipes with all sorts of things in them, and you really need to know for safety and control purposes what the pressures are in them. So understanding how your tap works uh, is far more important than you might imagine.